Hello, and welcome to the welcome video for the course redesign template course. This video serves a couple of purposes, right? It introduces the instructor to the students. It also introduces the student, it can introduce the student to the course. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a walkthrough here as well. So I'll start out with, you know, what I might say were I uh, the instructor for a particular course. Greetings, everyone. My name is Jacob Spradlin. I will be your tour guide on this journey that we call CRTC Course Redesign Template Course. I hope that you'll find that this course is something you'll take with you when you move on beyond maybe this course or the program or the school and use some of the lessons that you learn here as you move on in your professional career. I have been working in uh, online education for 25 years, so I bring with me I would say a large amount of experience, good and bad, but you always learn from the bad stuff. So uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, around digital education and the importance of strategies and practices and things that enable uh, teaching and learning to happen in that digital space. So I am really excited to have you in this course and I hope to learn from you as I share some of the things that I've learned along the way. Uh, maybe you can share some of the stuff that's impacted you and, I can, and we can learn from each other. I think that would be a win-win. Uh, again, uh, I, am, I am a lover of dad jokes and puns. So if you have a couple of puns during the course for, for me to share with me, feel free, stick them in, a, stick them in an assignment. Uh, like if you're adding a comment to an assignment or a discussion, I love puns. Beyond that, um, I have two daughters. One is actually in college and one is about to join. We have four cats and I've been married to my wife for almost 25 years as well. So. Uh, that's enough about me, Jacob, uh, and I hope to learn more about you and our introductory activities in the course as well as we, as we go along. So what I want to do now is I actually want to share uh, the, the course and kind of walk you through what that's going to look like, right? So if I think about that course, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop my video so that you can just concentrate on the content. Uh, this is the course redesign template course. Remember, when you come into Blackboard that first time, you'll, you'll want to actually find it in your courses list, click on it, and it will open up for you. And this template course is divided into different areas. The first area has kind of got that information that is important to the course, kind of from an outside perspective, meaning it may not have to do with the individual section that you're in, but it has to do with the entire course. So in this case, the course information, which holds, believe it or not, this introduction, which I'll also post as an announcement. So when you first enter this course for the first time, you're gonna see that announcement and you'll be able to play this video and you'll be like, oh, wow, is this Inception? He told me about this and I'm looking at it. Anyway, <laughs> beyond that, you're gonna find the course syllabus. The course syllabus is, is kind of like your, uh, your ways, right? Your GPS for the course. It's got all the good stuff about course policies and practices and assignments and due dates and exceptions and, and maybe even a hidden dad joke in there too. But anyway, this syllabus is here for you to ask so you can make it through the course. Beyond that, if you have questions along the way, one of the places that you can ask questions is the virtual office discussion forum. Think of it as like if you're in a, a standard classroom, class, classroom, you'd raise your hand and ask a question. I could answer it, one of your colleagues could answer it, but we'd all benefit from that question, right? So in this case, this acts in that area. A link to our support desk, which has, if you ever have any technical issues, think of them as your geek squad. They're gonna be available for you 24 seven and we'll be able to help you with those technical glitches that happen from time to time. Lastly, I've got a pre-course checklist that I'd like you to go through. Uh, it's your first activity in the course, believe it or not. It just shows that you've read the syllabus and understand what we're doing in here. So that's course information. Every one of the modules in the course is broken down here. So you'll see module one, uh, you can click on it to open it, and then you'll start by clicking on the item. So what I'm gonna do is show you what that looks like from a student perspective. So you can see how you would navigate through this particular course, right? So here I am in my preview student account. I'm gonna click on my first module, and then a little description shows up about it. It expands out, and I start by clicking on the first thing in the module. And here I get up my module objectives. I can move through that, go on to my first uh, little bit of lecture from a video that we want you to watch. 
Next, some readings. Very important you get some readings. Some of these readings are web links and some of them are files that I've uploaded. Note, whenever you see a file upload like this to access it, you just click the, the ellipses here, the three dots and get access to that file, right? You can also get access to alternative file versions of that file via Blackboard Ally. So if you're a commuter and you like to listen to your lectures or listen to some notes, you can definitely do that. Uh, beyond that, we step through using those arrows again at the top right and you can get to your first activity in module one and that's a, a reflective exercise that I've got going on. Once you've submitted it, uh, you're ready to move on to module two. And each module works in that way. You'll just use those arrows at the upper right hand side to work your way through each module and the module activities inside that module. So that being said, uh, I hope that you learn a lot. I hope that I learn a lot from you as we work through this process together. And I really look forward to uh, working with you as we dive into the course. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.